。犹太人诚心孝敬在世的长辈，也会在他们离世后常常纪念他们。孔穆仁教授的母亲于一九七七年光明节的前一晚去世，享年五十五岁。从此，每年的光明节前夜，他都会点亮蜡烛纪念他的母亲。当我们点燃光明节的第一根蜡烛时，那根纪念母亲的蜡烛还在燃烧着。In the Chinese culture, as in the Jewish culture, we pay respect to our parents,、uh, especially after they passed, and we remember them. In our family, Hanukkah has a special meaning because my mom died. In 1977, the night before Hanukkah, Jewish people on the anniversary of the parents' death, we call it Yorzeit. It means the time of the year, and we remember our parents. So this is my mom. It's an old picture from the 1950s, 10 years before I was born, and this is a candle that we light for my mom. To remember her, I never met my grandmother, my dad's mother, and I also never met my great grandmother, which is her mother. But all I know is that when they were escaping from the Holocaust, my great grandmother and my grandmother, they went from Austria to Paris, and they lived in Paris for two years. And then after going to Paris for two years, they escaped and went to Portugal. And then, after spending time in Portugal on the way to America, my great grandmother spent two years living in Cuba. She said she worked and managed her hotel, and we had no information about what the hotel was, where it was. We have one picture of it. So I went on a trip to Cuba、um, in September of 2019. I had the picture of my great grandmother at that hotel. I asked my tour guide if he recognized the picture, and he said, "That's the hotel right down the street." So I went to the hotel, and I found the exact place that she was standing in the picture. I found out what hotel she was at, and that is this hotel. It's the National Hotel of Cuba. So we have this plate that I bought in Cuba that is the hotel that she stayed at for two years and, and worked at for two years before she moved to the United States and came to New York.